Well, hello everybody, and welcome back. As you can tell, we're stood next to the pool again, but for a very good reason. The other day, I was like, I quite like the superficial things in life. Let's build a pool. Now, as you can see, we haven't quite done the flooring around it yet, and that's for quite good reason, because we need various resources to be able to craft that. And two things I have found whilst I have been trying to craft items. There's one question I had, where on earth do I get clay from? The other, where on earth do I get pebbles from? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly where you can get them. So what we are going to begin with is how do you get pebbles? Well, first of all, you unlock this meadow area, and then what you're going to want to do is actually unlock the beach, because I used to think, oh, I'd just smash some rocks and get some little pebbles. Well, no, I was wrong, it turns out. You need to go to the beach to get pebbles. So what you may see is some randomly stacked pebbles along the floor whilst you're walking around. However, it looks like today there is not going to be any here, and we just have sand and some shells. But that's not a problem, because if you want to get your hands on some of these pebbles, you grab your spade and you can start digging holes. Now, what you're going to want to do is just hold down the X button. If you're holding down X, it will just farm for you in a straight row and you will just keep on digging. Obviously, when you're doing this, make sure you've got a companion with you that has the digging tray on, so that when you do get some pebbles like we just did out of the ground, he might have the chance of throwing you some extra ones, because you get them in stacks of... Three, two, and one, I believe, and your companion generally will just throw you an extra one. But it's more, and it's quite an annoying resource. And if you do it in a straight line, it means you can tidy your beach up afterwards once you've got however many pebbles you need, whatever you're crafting, and put everything back to how it was. Now we have tidied up the beach, we are now going to run off to the next biome we need to go to. And in case you didn't know where the beach was, it's right down here on your map, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner and along the bottom. We're now going to move along to the Glade of Trust over here, where apparently I haven't activated the well, so we're going to have to go for a wander. So what resource do we get over here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be grabbing clay. So you can get clay over in the Glade of Trust, and it does, again, require you just to keep digging. The drop rate on this, again, is fairly low, but you will get it. It wasn't overly long for me to grab enough for what I needed. But you've just got to be persistent. I mean, you can see where the digging has gone on here. So just to keep things neat and tidy, grab into a bit of your line and just start digging up. And you'll see, hopefully we get at least one up here on our way down. Is that some clay? That might be. We'll see how we walk over it. You do get quite a lot of soil. So that is the other thing you might also be guessing. As you can see, there was some of the lovely soil that we just got. But let's keep going in a straight line and see if we can get any of this clay to appear for you there you go we just got plus two we're not getting it overly often but we are getting it fairly frequently and as we've done it in a nice straight line we can go along and cover all this up again to tidy it up when we need to but that is how you go about getting clay and pebbles that is the quickest way i know of and that's how i've been doing it for crafting like i say make sure you've got a digging companion with you because they will help you out quite a bit and you'll be leveling them up nice and quick for those bonus items and experience points so guys thank you all very much for watching i'll be back very soon with more dreamlight valley content and guides on various resources that you'll need to get throughout the game and if there's anything you want to know specifically let me know down below and i'm sure i'll create a video until next time have a lovely day and i'll see you all again incredibly soon